When people hear mushies, they <laughs> go, you know, over in Bali, mm-hmm. thinking you're a penguin, Absolutely. sliding down the, hall, the <laughs> corridor of the hotel. Like, what are you doing? Mushies, exactly. People think shrooms, that buzzy word shrooms. They think poisonous shroom or they think portobello. Uh, on the on the breakfast plate or something mm. along those lines uh, with some bacon and eggs and the rest of it. So there's a whole world out there. It's a kingdom. So, you know, we think of animals as a kingdom and we think of plants as a kingdom. Fungi is an entire kingdom as well. So there's just so much stuff going on in that in terms of 5 million species. We've only identified 1% of that. So we really don't know what's <coughs> going on, but we do know things like lion's mane have an amazing benefit to the brain in terms of re-stimulating the nerve cells helping with memory, concentration, focus, REM sleep, deep sleeping. So they're tools for the toolkit to manage those modern day stresses. And that's something we, we spoke about before. I'm wearing mm. this uh, this ring here, aura ring. Now this isn't a sponsor, I pay with this my hard end cash. <laughs> uh, they're expensive, but it's really interesting to learn about the sleep. Mm. People talk about, okay, you need to have exercise, you need like to have your diet sweet, and you need sleep. Now I'm in bed for eight hours and this reads your, the, the temperature of your skin this, or, the, or your blood temperature, it, it, it reads uh, your, your heart rate variability to see yeah. how your, heart, your, reco- your body's recovering. It, it, it sees where your resting heart rate is. It also follows your sleep. And that was the big reason I got this is because I wanted to see that what my sleep was actually like. I'm always on the road. I'm always doing this. I'm up late looking at screens, writing, mm-hmm. all that type of stuff. And in eight hours I spend in bed, I'm only asleep for five. Mm. And the average time that I'm in REM sleep is between 21 minutes and 48 minutes, which is terrible. And most people that I, through my research I've looked at, it's between uh, an hour and a half and two and a half hours you want to be in that REM sleep, rapid eye movement stage of sleep, which is the dream stage, I believe. Um, And that made me think, like how many other people who mm-hmm. aren't paying any attention to their sleep. Mm-hmm. How many other people are experiencing the exact same thing? Waking up tired, waking up depressed, waking up sad, or they're not um, sort of dealing with life's problems. Because that's one of the things people talk about with sleep. Yeah. It's a way yeah. to sort of, you know, go through and, and digest or or clean out like a computer. Yeah. You would clean out the, the shit that you've got in your filter through the day. It does. It consolidates memory and it sort of resets and recharges things. And after working in, in the Premier League, we, Brian and I, who started Lifecycle, the business, we started working in mining as health consultants. And so we did a lot of time on sleep in terms of shift work. And what you see ha- goes hand in hand with poor sleep is poor mood. And if you do that enough times, then it starts to creep into depression and early symptoms just where you're irritable. And so then what also happens is what we know is you have raised cortisol from poor sleep and then you start to crave more sugar. And then that becomes a vicious circle because you crave more sugar. That's bad for your gut health. And we know with gut health, it's linked to brain health as well. It's like a gut brain access there for mental health. So your gut needs to be healthy to have good mental health as well. Can you explain so, the, the gut brain axis? Because I know a lot of people sort of don't really get the idea mm. that even things like, uh, so SSRIs, serotonin reuptake inhibitors, are what is given to most people with uh, mm-hmm. depression or anxiety. And ser- they, they are there to sort of boost the availability of serotonin in the body. But serotonin comes from not just within the brain, it comes from your gut. It's mostly produced in your gut. Mostly produced exactly. in your gut. Yeah. Yeah. So what does that mean for people? So it means we need to be paying attention to diet, which we all know we should be doing. But I guess, I mean, we were chatting to a neuroscientist in the US a few months ago about, you know, he spent his whole life researching brain and the mental health and realized, well, it's not in the brain, it's in the gut in terms of where it starts. And so keeping it super simple for people, it's just understanding that gut health is important. And we hear that all the time. What does that mean? It means, you know, uh, fermented foods. It means, you know, healthy green vegetables and leafy vegetables. It means minimizing sugars. Uh, and it means sort of, I guess, if you've been on a course of antibiotics or something along that nature, or you've had a surgery or something along those lines that you need to sort of take stock on your gut health. So yeah, it's just being awake to that, understanding that connection between sleep and recharging your brain, but also looking after your gut. And that's that gut brain axis because they contribute to each other. Poor sleep will result in a poor diet the next day, nine times out of 10, mm. because you're uh, discipline levels just drop considerably because your brain goes into mode of like, I must get through the day. Mm. Just give me any energy you can find. 